Hey guys, welcome back to Avorian, the spaceship building, trading, mining, exploring game of massiveness and wonder. Today, we are going to be trying to lay down a solid financial policy. I know that sounds boring, but man, I need turrets, and turrets cost money. So I need to go around and sort out what is going on over here, and what I'm actually adopting to be my home sector. It used to be that I could right-click here and go, hey, could I please have this as my home sector? Doesn't let us do that anymore. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure why. What happened to that? Whatever. Let's, I don't know. Is it here? Nope. Nope. Not at all. Anyway, I'm going to adopt this place as my home sector. Uh, it's the one with all the luxury foods in it. We currently have Sir Carryhad over here. Uh, there's only two lobes on this particular tray, but I think that's what we can see right here because he actually has a third that comes down. Uh, for s buying all this wheat. I feel like we need to increase his capabilities, his capacities, at, at least double it, at least double it, but also maybe break down these lobes into three separate trade routes for three separate uh, three separate vehicles, because if we have a look up into the trading overview here, you can see that almost everything in the Celta stations has a relatively large amount of stuff in it, Apart from the wheat, well, we still have some zeros. This is despite the fact that we've had our ships run turning over for an incredibly long time now. So obviously, we are under under providing for these ships, for these stations. So my plan for the next hour or so is to go around and have a look at the wheat factories and make sure that they can actually take the extra stress. I think they can. I don't think there's going to be any problem with it, but we will give it a go. But the first thing I need to do is go and catch up with Sir Carryhan and find out if I can, like, re re redo him, rebuild him. Ah, oh, that means we're going to lose all of the orders. Ah, oh, you know I can't help go look at an unknown sector while we're waiting, though. I'm bringing Sir Carryhad towards us. I should really be going to look at the wheat farms, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna double his, his capabilities. It'll be fine. All right, what are we gonna find? Uh, it's either gonna be just like a single ship, or maybe it'll be a casino, something like that. Um, probably not pirates. They're normally at the yellow ones. Let's give it a go and have a look. Oh, it is an actual sector. We've got the actual things here. A trading post and a resource depot and a corvette to keep them all safe. I don't think that's going to be that effective if a whole bunch of uh, pirates or... It's not Xenon, is it? What, what, what are they in here? So looking at the wheat stocks, it appears that actually what I want to do is just double Sir Carryhad and uh, leave him with the same route. Unfortunately, I literally can't do that. I can't be like, hey, apply, apply this set of orders that I applied last time. That would be very useful because every time you try and do anything to any craft ever, it forgets exactly what it's doing. Like just everything gone. So, Carryhad, I don't think we could have met in any darker circumstances. What about you, sir? <laughs> it's, it's a little bit hard to see what's going on here, but I'm just going to jump into the neutral view here and get our build on. The first thing we need to do is, of course, take off the engine off the back here and put it somewhere. I want to be able to cut and paste it, and I think it only holds on to one clipboard at any one time, so I'm going to do that. The next thing I want to do is, of course, copy the module that comes out the back here. It's, you know, a couple of cargo boxes, the framework that goes on top of it, the engines, stuff like that. The spacing gets a little awkward awkward at the back and I go and put down a 2.5 wide frame this actually becomes a little bit more of an issue when it comes to uh, upgrading some things later on we'll talk about that at the time just know that this is where the problem started uh, and then I need to try and take the engine off the front of the craft and put it onto the back it turns out there was a few problems just even being able to select that and then when I go to put down the the bit that I copied and pasted turns out it wasn't using the same root part so I connected it first time with a bit of framework at the top when I first built the engine but when I copy and paste it for some reason it was only going uh, was only trying to paste via the the engine right but the, the big block in the middle and of course I wanted to go from the top so I had to build this this weird little framework support unit at the back here to then just go through and delete it afterwards but hey it put it where I needed it to go I then copied out the armor plating on the side that is almost entirely decorative if I happen just to get shot there rather than on the cargo box it is purely going to be through luck than any sort of uh, placement or skill I then decide that, hey, the cargo hold of like two and a half K, that's not good enough. We need at least like four, right? So I'll go and build a larger cargo box and spend some time going around figuring out uh, how to put them down. Because as you can see, I, I, I put them in the wrong sort of placement a few times. And there is a very, very simple reason for this. One that I literally just found out. I, I'd done the box the wrong width, so it, it wouldn't go in the right place. Uh, it's then all about just getting the, the back to front sorted and of course with the uh, the framework it's very simple just to try and 
click in the middle of the pattern there. And once I've finished this one set of colours, I found it very simple to just get into like that building rhythm. You know when you've like picked up the flow of things, as you see I'm just going through, changing the colour, grabbing the block, then I delete, press it, uh, put it down, click onto the next one, press F to focus on that part. That's probably the most important part of this entire process was being able to move my camera to exactly underneath what I was looking at and then just place down in the middle. And as simple as that, it's almost all done. I had to go around and make sure we had enough tidy up, but then I noticed the crew was running short and I had some frameworks up front just to quickly turn it into a crew cabin. Chonky. All right, let's try and find this crew. I wish there was a way of being like, hey, trading overview over here. Can you tell me where the, uh, where the crew's at? But no, they're not, they're not going to do that. You're close. Let's see if you've got one. Yes. Oh, that's, that, that's incredibly useful. Awesome. Oh no, pirates are attacking this sector. I'm totally in the wrong ship. It's all right. We can do this though. We can do it. Oh, right, they're over there. Uh, one of the ship grandest entrance lady. There we go. Diplomat. Oh, I'm so far away from the action. And unfortunately, oh, what is that? What is that? It's a raider rather than whatever this pirate is. This is a bandit. Uh, let's let's go for the radar. Hey, how is it? why are you just sat there? Why are you just sat there? Uh, in my experience, taking their engines out, definitely the way forwards. Uh, definitely reduces their mobility quite considerably. Man, look at all these systems given to me. Nom, 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 nom. 50,000 credits for that. Beautiful, beautiful. We also got some uh, radar upgrade. No nothing really amazing. Let's have a look and see if there's any better upgrades around. Nah, every everything's white or worse now. So right now, Sir Carryhad is going around and collecting a whole bunch of wheat from all the different places. I think actually he may have got in a little bit of a stuck situation where he had done this one and then I started the job by doing that one. And so there's not enough wheat for him to get all 2,000 units. But whatever, it doesn't matter right now. Look at this pathway that he's leading, though. Oh, isn't it just... Mm, I love it. I love it a lot. But whilst he's going to go do all of that, I think we can do something else. If we're going to the trading overview and I have a look for the luxury food, I think this is the one with the most. Uh, let's have a look. Minus 28. I mean, there is a minus 29 there. We could possibly go and grab that one. All right, let's go and get one of these minus 29s. Let's go and... Go and grab some of the luxury food that we've actually been trying to make, shall we? All right, I just want to buy... Uh, it turns out 74, 16 is the maximum I can get. Am I really that out of money? All right, let's buy these. I don't, I don't know if this is going to be enough. Not enough money to buy 2,000... Oh, what have I done? Well, anyway, we're going to go... <laughs> That's what I've done. Uh, we're going we're gonna to go to... <laughs> Sorry, that absolutely killed me there for a moment. All right, we're going to go over here and we're going to start spreading our love around. I think these guys have like a casino or something somewhere in here that we're able to sell some of the luxury food to. We're going to have to sell some somewhere. I might even go and sell some of our immense stocks of titanium at some point and maybe maybe make a little bit of money somewhere. 60,000 credits? Maybe that'll be enough. All right, mostly, now I want to know, are you still going? Yes, you're still on your loop. All right, cool. Okay, we're going to go try the habitat over here because the, the internet says we can go there. But honestly, I I don't... I really don't think habitats take luxury food. I thought it was casinos. Let's go north and find out and either prove or disprove it. I'd say prove or disprove. Let's gather a little bit of evidence there. I mean, here be a habitat. Look, habitat. Any, any uh, luxury food? No. Nope. This is the sale to stations, by the way. They don't they don't let you buy anything. But you know, why not slaves? No. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go hang out with our friends, the Uxolzuck over there. Is, is that how we're pronouncing it? Uh O U H O uh with an apostrophe L. Ul <laughs> Zuck? Yeah, maybe. I will go with that. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure what would be quicker, going up using the wormhole and driving my way down the known routes, or should we come over here and pathfind? I think we're, we're going to go pathfind. Of course we're going to go pathfind. What a silly question. Ooh-wee. Well, I managed to make it this far into uncharted space before I started encountering my first super expensive um, jumps to, uh, to undertake. There is an unknown energy mash signature here, but I'm not, I'm not going for that. I might aim for this one up here, try and make my way across in a series of small jumps. Yeah, let, let, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to go up here and then we're going to go there uh, and just move our way forwards. If anything interesting pops up, I'll let you know. But so far, it's just been like scrapyards and trading stations and stuff. I have just realized if I keep jumping through empty systems like this, at some point, I'm going to woke the swoke. And nobody wants a woke swoke. What, what is going on here? No, 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 no. Don't start an international incident just because you jumped into something. 
Oh, 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 what, what happens here? What happened? I mean, does he think he's done wrong? Oh, our relations have worsened. Our relations have worsened. I wanted to apologize. Oh, God. Crashes in space. Really? Whoa, this place seems a little bit scary, but the title screen has repeatedly told us that these guys won't just outright attack us. Red does not necessarily mean kill on sight. He gonna start trouble? Yes, he is. Oh my gosh, he just like, as he was flying past, decided now's the time to mess me up. All right, let's, uh, we got, we got to get out of here, but, I mean, look at all his friends. Look at all his friends. They're coming, they're coming. 17 seconds, we're gonna lose at least the lady. That's, uh, that, that's almost a given at this point. Okay, the grandest entrance went down. Oh, what is this? What is this? Where am I supposed to go? All right, away we go, away we go. Goodbye, lady, goodbye. Grandest entrance. Mine is 48 seconds. Oh, we're just gonna fly for 48 seconds, it turns out. That's quite the swarm of pirate. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, there's even a, a shipyard over there. Dude, what are you doing? Dude, what are you doing? Why are you going over that way? Oh, man. I, like, seriously, I did not... Well, I don't, I don't think I fired first. Maybe maybe the lady or, or something like that fired first, but, uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Oh, oh, someone, someone's got the legs on me. Boom. A, bo a boring way to leave, but we got out. Well, that, that sure was an unfortunate turn of events for literally the last sector that we jumped through before getting to where we were looking for. And honestly, we really should have just not done all this. Like, you can, we've got some more of the map. I mean, that's that's a big yay. But this this group here, look, this is the... Um, them, the Gajeli, let's call them the Gajeli, uh, uh, they're the same people, which probably means they control a lot of space in between here. So if I'd made this cheap for myself, I don't know. Well, let's see how much this actually turns out to uh, to improve relations, shall we? All right, luxury food. Here we go. They're nearly empty, so that's good. 16, I reckon we are going to get 16 points of reputation, something like that. They're selling. Oh, they're selling for some money, though. Wow. 224. Oh, yes. Oh, give it to me. That's great. Oh, that's that's wonderful, actually. At 131 grand, which, you know, it's all right, I suppose. Okay, we paid 73, but look at this. You can't you can't grab this slider. Oh, how annoying is that? Um, okay, so scrolling all the way down. We paid 73. We just got... Oh, that's, that's that's like, you know, paid three quarters, got 100%. But that's that's great. Yeah, more, in fact. But yeah, awesome. Why, why are you beeping at me now? Go away. Uh, trade instructions. Well done. Congratulations. You've taken your first step towards becoming a trader. Oh, look at that, guys. We... What? <laughs> we, we, we did. We did it. I didn't even know. Okay, cool. I don't. I, I didn't realize we'd actually met the requirements for it at any point. I'm just gonna take the uh, 10,000 credits. Yeah, awesome. We, we got a whole bunch of other stuff up here that we need to deal with at some point. Every time something's been coming in, I've just been ignoring it. Oh man, we are so far away. What I think I'm gonna do is. Oh, I was on the wrong sector, that's why. I'm going to come over to my home sector. I'm going to switch to crafting sector. It's only going to let me go into the drone. That's fine. But one of the things that I've been saying for... Is, is it not doing it? Switch? Oh, there we go. Uh, but one of the things I've been saying repeatedly during this playthrough is it wouldn't it be great if they gave your ship an autopilot? So I'm just going to jump away from my ship and let it do what it needs to do to get back home. And then I'm going to potter around. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I'm actually docked with it right now. Uh, is it? Oh, no, it's a resource depot. I need to be with a repair dock. Oh, only 25 kilometers to go. I'm, I'm going to repair the uh, the lady and the greatest entrance here. But of course, I suppose we now need to give the orders to the diplomat. Who I'm literally just going to be like, hey, jump all your way back. All right, that's, that's quite the list of orders already. 41 jumps and a little bit of gate action because it's where we're cheap. Oh, I didn't realize this was a thing. I get a discount, 30% discount when I'm buying tokens at this this particular uh, repair dock in my home sector. But that that's awesome. That's awesome. I love how quick it is to get both my ships back fully armed and operational. It's time to give the diplomat a bit of a tune up here. The first thing I do is remove this like control block from the back because it's really not doing much. It's not very good for the turning and it doesn't really give me that much engine thrust. Uh, the next thing I do is slap down another generator, literally the same size as the one we already had, put them one after the other, use the merge block tool to uh, to make them one block and get that slightly increased efficiency out of it. Then I'm looking at the fact that we have just this huge, great big block of stuff coming out of the back of my ship. And that is not the design process that we have been going with here. So I'm like, all right, how can we throw some some spikes on this to make it look a little bit more like the rest? And I'm thinking, oh, maybe we can just kind of like 
drag out some some big old spikes. Obviously, I want to try and get some cargo on the back here as well. So that that's the main reason I want to have the spikes is so that we can go out further. And I just had a feeling that we, the integrity field generator wasn't really reaching back here, so I threw another one of those on the back. Now with those little bit little, little spurs, that's the word I'm going to use here that I put down on the top. I decided that I really wanted the uh, the spikes coming off in a different direction, but unfortunately the way I had done it couldn't quite pull it out to the, to, to the extreme that I wanted. I wanted it coming away from the center. Unfortunately, all I could do was like kind of go parallel to it. That's fine though, because the spike kind of leans away from it. it. It spikes away rather than towards. Uh, did another one on the side. and Decided that maybe actually we could do with a little bit of a side structure here. I've been saying for a little while that we need to try and expand the uh, the build structure of this out. It's looking pretty good, but we've, we're pretty much just one line with a bunch of, uh, bunch of triangles on it. So if there is a way that I could get up and out by building some sort of pylons on the side then I'm going to go ahead and do that and in fact this is this is what I've got right here I decided to put on the engine first and I'm like okay so where are we going to stick thrusters uh, I thinking that the thrusters need to be on top of these pylons to put them furthest away from the center of mass and give us the uh, the maximum amount of push force thrust whatever whatever word you want to use here and then I'm just like all right well how do we how do we um, shape these out to look like the rest and all I've really managed is to use these little bits of air Edge armor. They look all right. I'm kind of happy with how it is, but it's not great. We're at the last gate of our journey here. We're thankfully, due to this wormhole, not really had to go through any gates at all. Only the ones that we pay literally nothing to travel through. So that has been brilliant. We are one one jump away, but it's an expensive jump. If you look down to the bottom right, 705 credits. Well, whatever the C is about a lot of money but that's okay we're gonna make a lot of money i need to go and sell all of these goods though and then i want to come back and find out how much the price of entry is god it's exactly the same also do you like my new lights i think they're great i'm not sure about the ones at the front they come to a point but only in one dimension i'm not i'm not sure about that i kind of like the, the the points to be pointy it's a bit weird but it really makes these work well so uh really makes the thrusters have full control that so it's gonna have to stay i have noticed there's a few bits on the inside that i'm not overly fond of but we're gonna be adding as we go along and to be honest with you i feel like the support structures that this is on can i get my mouse out yes we can this support structure here really needs to kind of be slanted backwards don't you think i think so i think so very much but that's gonna that's gonna take a pretty major uh, rebuild also i want to build something that would actually sort of encase the uh encase the engine and the thrusters here be more engine i don't know all right, I kind of, kind of like. We've got one more thing that I want to do. One more thing. If I come over here and build a ship, you can see that we've got a bit of an issue here. I just want to set up a single block. Uh, it wants 500 na neonite? What? Why? Never wanted this before. Also, why does the single block have a deceleration? These, these are questions that I want to know the answers to. Like, we got, we got some crew, maybe. What if I go empty ship? No, it's not going to work with the empty ship. Operator. Does that change anything? That feels like it made the game star. Minor ship. No, all, all of these still have this weird neonite cost to set up. I'm not I'm not sure why. I'm really not sure why. So what I'm gonna try instead is if I press T, uh, you don't have to put that that's because I've got that that selected, the station selected. If I press T, I can come out into this. And if I just kind of fly away a little bit, what can we do this? Yeah, why? Every ship costs a basic material founding fee. The more ships you own, the higher the material tier. Well, isn't that a thing? I mean, cool. I'm glad that, I'm glad that tool tip's there. Why didn't we see it over here? I'm going to go see if I was just being blind. I'm almost certain I was. This, this is how these things work out, right? Okay, Nia, no, is there a, a founding fee somewhere? No, no, I'm not actually allowed to, yeah, to, to hover. There's no tool, tool tip here. There really, really should be a tool tip here. <laughs> All right, I've put that in as a bug report. They might not think it's actually a bug, but you know, we'll we'll see what's going on with that. So it turns out I need to actually just make better use of the ships that I've got. That is fine because we have got over here. So Hall's a lot. Now he's doing okay, but I feel like he could do a better job. What do, what do you guys feel? Do you reckon that on the way to water? Oh, sorry, on the way 
to get water, he could carry a whole bunch of stuff up to the casinos. I think that might be the case. Yeah, let's do that. Of course, this does mean, like, losing all his orders. What, what, what's he got right now? Is he carrying anything? Sir Hall's a lot. He's carrying a very tiny amount of water. Let's wait for him to do that, though. Let's just speed this process along, shall we? Okay, Sir Hall's a lot. We're going to start. We're going to buy luxury food. And I think we're only going to buy 50 because that stuff's expensive. Wait, but the, the casinos disappeared. Hey? No, how, how? Two gates, two... What the, let's go over and... It was this one, wasn't it? Look, we come out of the wormhole. We go one, two, take the singular gate over there. Yeah, this should totally be the one. Uh, okay, let's deselect Sir Hall's lot and uh, go, go jump over to Sector. All right, let's zoom out. What do we see? What do we see? There's some gates. It's down. It's right there. What was wrong? Hmm, that's a shame as also I've now like completely uh, taken this guy off his job, which uh, you know, don't want to take anybody's job. Man, I, w I wonder what happened there. Anyway, we're going to take Sir Hall's a lot all the way up there. I wonder what happened there. Anyway, we're going to take Sir Hall's a lot all the way up there. So as I said, out the wormhole, two jumps over. Bang into the uh, area with the with the casino. We're gonna make a sale of. Oh man, this is so long-winded. If anything needs an update, it's this this whole system here of how to give orders to your ship and make everything work smoothly. Ah, oh, it's just uh, like could I could I like this whole trail of uh, of, of travelling that I've done here. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to give that a name? Call it like I don't know the Kessel Run or something, and then be able to go, hey, perform the Kessel Run for me. Yeah, you know, wouldn't that be great? Anyway, sell the food, head home. <laughs> right, so we made the sale of the luxury food, then we kind of want to make a swift turn over this way. I know, we're getting close to pirate sectors, and I'm a little bit worried, but, you know, not that much. Grab some water. 1,500, not 2,000, trust me. <laughs> Cruise our way back and sell the water. Now, if I was going to be super smooth at this point, and I would like to be, but ugh, um, I would then set him up to go to the other casinos. There are plenty of, ca I say plenty, there are a couple of casinos around. There's three of them, in fact. And each one of these would give us a huge boost to the local reputation if I can get Sir Halls out there with, you know, a couple of hundred. Well, I don't think we ever need to go more than 50. I think 50 would actually be uh, enough luxury food to take every time because the, the places we're delivering to normally only take up to 90. There's normally about 20 left in the bank. Bit of breathing room, you know, that, that, that works out well. Instead, what I'm going to do is go loot. Now, again, what I'd really like to be able to do is at some point remove that loop order at the end there and be able to just kind of append on to the end of it maybe one day maybe one day maybe i just need to start putting in like hourly bug reports for this stuff <laughs> car sir hall's just bought 50 food for quarter of a million oh kind of hurts oh yeah still got a couple of hundred thousand left though that's pretty cool and with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time when we are going to hopefully be making enough money to start building out some more fleet. It turns out we need to go find a new resource. I am totally up for that. That means deeper exploration into the galaxy. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.